Hi everyone, it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel. I want to wish you a Happy New Year in case I haven't wished it already or you haven't seen one of my videos from the new year. I just created today a scrapbooking layout using the new Prima Marketing Poetic Rose collection. I really love the soft colors of this collection and you know how I love making layouts that are th beach themed so I did use a picture from my daughter when she was at the beach and I used all the soft colors for it. I took two different types of paper. The first one has a honeycomb shaped background and all I did is cut around the honeycomb pattern with scissors. I went around and cut vertical strips throughout the whole paper. For the second paper, I simply ripped the vertical strips using my hands. I just ripped the paper and I knew I was going to put it in between the other paper that I had cut with the scissors. I also took the back of that paper and used it to rip some more strips, but this time I was going to use the back of it, which had a really nice script print. So I could use three different types of patterns to create this layout. Once I had all the patterns figured out, I started putting one on top of the other to create the page. I used a third paper that I had on hand just to measure up the size of the paper. So to make sure that when I was putting on the strips that it would be a 12 by 12 size because it was really hard to tell when I was putting one on top of the other. That way I had the exact measurement. I did the same thing for the other side of the page on the left side. However, I used smaller, thinner strips to create the same type of pattern on the left side of the page. That way it would create a really nice flow horizontally through the paper. To create some texture in the background I used a stencil by Finnabare. This is a new stencil called Passiflora and I also used the paper texture paste which I love to use. This is a white textured paste and I really wanted to keep it really simple and very light colored so I used a paste that has no color basically white just to add some texture to the background and to blend the edges of all the ripped areas so I wanted it all to blend in and make it a cohesive smooth area in the background. To mat the photo I used a few journaling cards. These are the 4x6 journaling cards that come with the collection, the Poetic Rose collection and I just framed it using a few of those. I cut some of them and used some of the patterns. Even though they have beautiful coats in the background I just knew that it would be nice to just have those sticking out from behind the photo. Once I was happy with the mat I took some foam tape and without moving any of the papers I added some foam tape to raise them a little bit and create some volume to the mat behind the photo. Finally I used the same foam tape to stick the picture to the background. I really wanted to have it raised so I could stick different flowers in between the layers and have it raised enough that the flowers fit underneath the photo. I also arranged the flowers the way I wanted them. I don't show this on this video but I just use big and small flowers to just arrange around the photo. I like anchoring the bigger flowers near the photo and then smaller ones as you go away from the photo. Then I took two tickets that also come with this collection and added them as titles. All the flowers I glued with Fabri-Tac glue. Then I took some of the Sating Crystals gemstones and added them underneath the flowers and kind of giving the movement of going up and down the page. Because everything had a vertical movement on the background, I knew that I wanted to have some of those sticking out from the top and bottom of the page. I also added some frayed cheesecloth, which I love adding to create a very soft look to any layout. So all I do is just rip a few pieces and stick them underneath the flowers. It gives it a beautiful soft touch and makes it look so pretty and so shabby chic. 
Finally, I took the white paper texture and using a paintbrush, added a little bit of texture to the flowers, to the papers, and basically all the embellishments. So this really brought everything together and created that similar texture that I had in the background. I love this added touch, and I know I do very similar layouts all the time. However, I just love this technique, and I really want to emphasize how much I love adding texture to the background. I love soft colors, pastel colors, and this was the perfect layout to create for this photo. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. If you get inspired by one of my projects, please share it with me either by private message or share it and tag me on social media. Thank you so much and I hope you subscribe to my channel. Have an amazing day. Bye!